hello dear students so today we will start the sixth chapter that is chemical reactions now in this chapter we will be learning about the oxides carbonate hydrates and uh, what is the effect of heating on these compounds and then we will be knowing about the oxides of metals and non metals their character and uh, most of the most important we will be knowing about the types of the reactions example combination decomposition displacement double displacement exothermic and endothermic reactions now when we think of chemical reaction what exactly comes in our mind that what is chemical reaction actually it is the transformation of uh, some substance into new substance with entirely different properties but actually what is happening in a chemical reaction this kind of thing is happening you can see here breaking of bonds is happening or here is a simple demonstration or a diagrammatic representation of breaking of bonds and formation of new bond you can see here there is one compound known as methane and now this methane is combining with two oxygen molecules ok two molecules of oxygen are present now here you can see the bonds are separating that means hydrogen has been separated from carbon so hydrogen is separated and now these two oxygen atoms will go and combine with carbon to form carbon dioxide so this is what is happening i have taken one molecule of methane two molecules of oxygen which will give you one molecule of carbon dioxide and two molecules of water will be formed that one molecule of methane and two molecules of oxygen will change their bonds bonds will break hydrogen will get separated from carbon and then this carbon will be attached to two oxygen atoms to form carbon dioxide and two water molecules will be formed so what has happened bonds have broken from somewhere and they have rearranged to form new bonds and to form new substance now this happens with the absorption or release of energy normally in the form of heat or light so when a chemical change happens it will happen under the influence of heat and light and what is a chemical bond it is the attractive force that holds the atom of molecule together in a compound so this carbon and hydrogen now this is the attractive force this is the attractive force this is the attractive force through which the hydrogen is attached to the carbon so this way this rearrangement of bond happens now how do you write these chemical reactions they are represented by some reactants which are on the lhs that is left hand side and the products which are on the right hand side and in between we put an arrow which shows that chemical reaction has happened this arrow is called as gives or yields also now this sodium hydroxide i am giving you one example of a chemical reaction sodium hydroxide is combining with hydrochloric acid to give two new compounds sodium chloride and water so these are the reactants that means sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid is the reactant and these are the products NaCl and H2 they are formed of entirely new properties from their corresponding reactants now how do you come to know that whether chemical reaction has taken place or not so we have got some characteristics which shows that chemical reaction has taken place so first is evolution of gas sometimes in some reactions we can see some gas is coming out of the reaction or evolving with an effervescence now what is effervescence mm, effervescence is actually the formation of gas bubbles in a liquid uh, during a chemical reaction so you can see lot of bubbles forming uh, and this bubble formation indicates that gas has evolved now let's see the example now these examples you will be writing in your copy and learning these are very important reactions so make a reaction copy where you will write all the reactions which are given in your uh, book and you can revise those reactions after say two days or three days you can go through those reactions once those reactions are memorized so it will be easy for you to give example so the example of evolution of gas is when I put the zinc metal in dilute sulfuric acid I will see the formation of zinc sulfate and I will see the evolution of a gas hydrogen and how you know what is the test of hydrogen it burns with the pop 
sound. So, this way it indicates that chemical reaction has taken place and new substance zinc sulphate and hydrogen gas is formed. Now, another example of evolution of gas is potassium chlorate when heated strongly it will give you potassium chloride and oxygen gas will be evolved and what is the test of oxygen? It rekindles the glowing splinter. So, this is the characteristic of oxygen gas because it helps in burning. Now, this example is also the example of evolution of gas. Another example we will take sodium sulphite when uh, mixed with dilute hydrochloric acid, it will give you sodium chloride, water and sulphur dioxide. Now, there is one gas evolved as sulphur dioxide. This sulphur dioxide gas has a very suffocating odor and, it's, and smells like burning sulphur. So, this way we come to know that sulphur dioxide gas is liberated. And now, what is the smell of uh, sulphur dioxide? It burns, it smells like that you have burnt a matchstick. So, the same uh, smell which comes after that uh, burnt matches, same smell comes when sulphur dioxide, you smell sulphur dioxide. Then what is the test for sulphur dioxide gas? It turns potassium dichromate solution from orange to green. Now, this you will study uh, uh, in higher classes, but here only I gave you this information as I was telling you the test of all the gases. So, it will turn potassium acidified potassium dichromate solution from orange to uh, green. So, this is this confirms the Mm, presence of sulfur dioxide. So, this was all about the evolution of gas. Now, the next change which, which you can see after the mm, chemical reaction is change of color because certain chemical reactions show dif distinct color in the change in color and then you, after seeing the change in color you will come to know that chemical reaction has taken place. Now, look on the screen I am giving you an example where an aqueous solution of copper sulfate which is blue in color and if you put iron here. So, what will happen? There will be a chemical change and it will change into green color and this is formation of ferrous sulphate and you can see this copper which is there down reddish brown color of copper will be seen here. So, after seeing this change, but this change is not instant, it will take some time. Now, this is the reaction which you have seen on the last screen. Iron was put in blue color copper sulphate solution. Aqueous here represents that it is mixed with water aqueous okay aqueous means solution in water which will give you green solution of ferrous sulfate and copper deposit red reddish brown copper deposit can be seen in the beaker okay another example of change of color you can see here copper sulfate which is a blue color solution uh, on adding hydrogen sulfide and will give you a black solid so color change blue to black copper sulfide is black in color and sulfuric acid is formed so blue colored copper sulfate changes to black color copper sulphide. Another reaction of change in color is lead nitrate. This is very important reaction because most of the time you will see this reaction uh, in many places in the preparation of oxygen also you must have seen this um, you will be seeing this reaction where lead nitrate which is white in color will change on heating to pale yellow. So, this uh, uh, white power, white substance changes into pale yellow or reddish brown gas is evolved that is nitrogen dioxide and oxygen gas is evolved. The up arrow shows the evolution of gas. So, these two are in gaseous form. So, now, the next uh, thing is after evolution of gas after um, change in color we will see formation of precipitate. Now, what is a precipitate? So, precipitate are insoluble solid substances which are formed after the chemical reaction which settles down at the bottom of the reaction tube and they, they are shown by the downward arrow. If I show an arrow downward this means precipitate has been you can see some beautiful beautiful colored precipitate also. So, yellow color precipitate is formed. So, these are some precipitates which form after the chemical reaction. So, whenever a precipitate is formed you will come to know that chemical change has happened. Now, let us see some examples of precipitate. First example is silver nitrate. Silver nitrate when uh, added to sodium chloride solution both are in solution form ok. Remember both are in solution form that means solid if you take solid AgNO3 and solid NaCl this reaction will not happen. You have to take them in solution form that is mixed in water aqueous is given that means you have mixed them in water and added together both are solutions. You will see a white colored precipitate of AgCl that is silver chloride and sodium nitrate solution will be formed. So, this is the example of formation of precipitate. So, another um, example of precipitate formation is ferrous sulphate. When ferrous sulphate is added to sodium hydroxide you will see a dirty green precipitate of 
ferrous hydroxide and sodium sulfate will be formed. So, you will see dirty green uh, precipitate of ferrous hydroxide. Then an another example of formation of precipitate barium chloride solution when added to sulfuric acid will give you white precipitate of barium sulfate and hydrochloric acid will be formed. Now, you here you can see what is happening this Ba is joining with this SO4 and this H2 is jo joining with this Cl. So, it is kind of displacement reaction they are exchanging partners right. So, this is a double displacement I mean both of them are displacing each other. So, this is the example of double displacement reaction which we will take further when the topic comes in the lesson. Now, comes the next thing that is after uh, state change, color change, formation of precipitate we will see change of state. Uh, so, states are changing it. Now, how, how do you come to know in a reaction what is the state? So, for solid we write S, for gas we write G, for liquid we write L and for aqueous solution that is mixed in water we write AQ. Okay? So, this is the indication that what are these substances, the states of these substances are shown by this method in a chemical reaction. So, here are the examples you can see hydrogen sulphide which is a gas will combine with another gas known as chlorine to give a gas that is hydrogen chloride plus a solid will be formed that is sulphur a yellow solid will be formed. So, here uh, two uh, gases are converting into one gas and one solid. Now, uh, ammonia gas with hydrochlo hydrogen chloride gas will give you a solid that is ammonium chloride this is also the example of state change where one gas where two gases will mix together chemically combine together and form a white solid that is ammonium chloride. Now, next is uh, change in energy you will see some change in energy and how does this change in energy is seen when we burn some fuel you see large amount of heat is released and this burning of fuel is a chemical change where heat and light is produced. And now, during the decomposition of calcium carbonate heat energy is absorbed. So, there are two kinds of reaction exothermic and endothermic if you remember. So, exothermic reactions which gives out heat and endothermic which absorb heat. So, this is the reaction which happens at the decomposition of calcium carbonate it forms two new substances that is calcium oxide and carbon dioxide calcium oxide is lime ok quick lime the formula of calcium the name of calcium oxide is quick lime and this uh, is an endothermic reaction because uh, it absorbs heat and then decomposes to form calcium oxide. 